Okay, here we are. There's my imaging setup, and uh, out here in my little secret spot in the Chiricahua National, or actually not in the National Monument, but in the uh, mountains and forests south of the monument. Um, came out here Thursday after work, and there was actually someone in a camping trailer set up on this concrete slab. So I didn't really get to do a whole lot last night, but uh, in any case, I'll share what my setup looks like. There's my uh, 8 inch Newtonian, TSLR, uh, Atlas EQG, and uh, ADED for guiding. So, uh, a couple of simple mods I made is the uh, little toggle switch there and the um, little potentiostat. This turns on and off the uh, red field illuminator for the polar scope, and this controls the intensity. Uh, it's quite useful, helpful, easy to do. So there's that for imaging, laptop, DS USB, GPU USB, blah blah blah. And then for visual use, I have all of my eyepieces and filters. Oops, my <laughs> 10 radian is not covered. My bad. And uh, my cases. And normally I have my scope that I call R2D2 out here, which is my 12 inch Mead light bridge. That mirror, however, is off being recoded by Spectrum Coatings. Hopefully it's uh, returned to me in the uh, uh, due time or uh, the amount of time that uh, Paul said it would be done. But this is Big Ron. This is my home built, scratch built, um, 8 inch F10. Uh, planetary killer, uh, fan fantastic scope. Um, I designed it, built it, um, assembled it. Uh, the mirror was actually, I did not make the mirror. The mirror was made by uh, 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 Mark Harry. I got a, uh, a helical uh, focuser. I like it. I like it a lot. Unfortunately, I'm thinking to switch over to a Crawford style. Um, for imaging, for planetary imaging, but uh, that'll be down the road. Got a three three vein spider from uh, Protostar. Um, yes, it took forever to get this stupid thing, but uh, did get it eventually. Um, why am I taking video of the mirror? I don't know, but there's the mirror down there. Uh, I do have a back piece that covers up the back of the scope, so you can't see the light uh, once it's assembled. But a fantastic scope. And uh, performs exceptionally well. Um, this is my very first scope that very easily and routinely shows the airy disc on most stars in the field of view. Um, uh, no hint of coma uh, um, or anything. So fantastic scope. The mount, I will be honest, um, the the actual rocker box is inadequate. Um, unfortunately, I have limited resources right now uh, since I moved to Tucson I no longer have access to a woodworking shop but uh, there's that and on here is the that's the backer play I have eight double A's running a, a CPU fan or actually a case fan and again on off toggle with a, a potential stat in the left toggle on the right and a beveled edge um, for, for a cooling and for nice stable views of uh, planets and even deep sky objects. The scope performs stupidly good actually <laughs> on uh, deep sky objects and planet or galaxies. Oh, hey, my soup is done. <laughs> Let's get that turned off here. Don't want my soup to boil over. Oops. Oh, here's my kitchen. That's for boiling water and soup. That's for cooking meat. You can see I'm a fan of Diet Doctor. Uh, sorry, Diet Mountain Dew, whatnot. And uh, for my trips, I just invested uh, recently in this super nice tent, 10 by 10, uh, Copper Canyon 6, I think. Uh, great tent, a couple little shortcomings that I don't care for about it, but um, for the price, you cannot beat it. Uh, nice little tent. And then uh, the good old trustworthy Subaru Forester. Um, wish I had a little more cargo space now that I've got a, uh, uh <laughs> a nine month old child, um, trying to lug big Ron out here with a nine month old child is actually impossible, uh, sadly. So, um, 
maybe in the next few years. Uh, a new car, van, giant SUV thing, perhaps. But uh, for the time being, it works. And if I come out here on my own, which is what I'm doing now, um, it works just fine. So anyway, that's my astronomy setup. Um, skies here are, are respectably dark, uh, darker than most places you'll find around the country. Um, SQML readings of about, um, I don't know, 21.7 to 21.8. Um, borderline Bortle 2. Um, I personally thought it was darker out here, but uh, it's not. So my place uh, I'm planning to go to in September and Goblin Valley uh, in Utah actually is a Bortle 2, easily Bortle 2 sky. Um, and I'm interested to get up there in September with my uh, light quality meter to see if that is, uh, is the case and see if it's maybe even borderline Bortle 1. Um, it's, uh, quite impressive up there. So, but unfortunately I'll have to make do with, uh, southeastern Arizona and, um, uh, you know, just suck it up and deal with it. Um, having come from Michigan, uh, the skies here, even on a, uh, not so great night are, uh, how shall I put it? <laughs> Superb compared to Michigan. So, but, uh, there are the scopes. I forgot my light shroud for the end of the uh, daub there. Um, so I actually, if I point it near bright planets, uh, Mars and Jupiter right now, or even bright stars, I do get a little bit of stray light. Um, hopefully a buddy of mine is going to be bringing my light shroud out for me um, to put on the end of that. So anyway, this is seven minutes. That's about five minutes too long. So um, talk to you guys. Well, friends and family. I'll talk to you guys later. Everyone else, adios. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed seeing some of my uh, equipment and setup. Thanks. Bye.